Hey everybody, Hat Creature here. So we have a viewer build by Will I Really Am. Uh, I remember that name. <laughs> uh, I think the last time I did a viewer build, uh, I made a joke like Will I <laughs> Will I Really Am? Impressed with this build. <laughs> uh, so we have a Daniel build. Um, this is another Mr. X build, and now. Uh, I am well aware that investing everything in the bioweapon is a surefire way to lose, but that's kind of what this build is about, not losing. Uh, now in order to make a bioweapon only build work, your deck needs to stand on its own and be its own threat. The bioweapon is your backup, it's your main, you know, that that's the killer. That's how you're gonna seal the deal. But you can't seal the deal until you butter them up. And so we'll see if this is enough to butter people up so that we can eat them. So what we got? Well, we got Daniel, obviously. We got Mr. X using brutality. That's important. Uh, we have Frenzy so that our creatures are faster. We have Endurance so that we can't be stunned unless we're standing on stairs. Then, uh, use a bitch for standing on stairs. We have the dealer who can do the claw slash. And she's cheap. Uh, you could use overclock, but we're using equilibrium mods, so we can't use overclock. For equipment, all Mr. X. We got system devlog 3 and 2 for more damage. This is greatly, this is moderately. Uh, control glove for moderately more damage and duration. Then we have Bioenergy Capacitor 3, something I barely ever use, which greatly increases the duration. I don't know what is the maximum time we have with Mr. X with this two equipment, because I never use them. I've used this before, but never this. Uh, so the idea, I believe, is after you use your R1 ability to uh, st a stalker to track everyone, you can take normal people down in two hits. Um, depending on their build, like what they're running, three hits. So, yeah, this is, uh, deadly when it comes to Mr. X. And so the deck, does it stand on its own? Uh, he says he has a high win rate with this. Uh, I love it when people put percentages, because that's really fun. Uh, I believe it was 88 percentage win rate. Really interested to see how this goes. Does it stand on its own? Uh, so I was quite surprised to look at the deck because there's only the power limiter in order to, admit, to get Mr. X quicker. Unlike other builds where the whole thing revolves around getting him quicker, this one is mostly about damage and duration, with only the power limiter getting him quicker. So the rest of the deck is all just for the creatures. So it's not about getting him quickly, it's about finishing with them, which is nice. So we have the Crawler to hide the Air Burst Trap, or just to get some sneaky door plays. We have the Nia for that awesome tentacle attack, and this, the good suck. We have the Double Zombies and the Infection Zombie. Uh, this will be a good one to take control of, along with the Berserk Vapor. So this guy with, you know, Berserk will be going really fast with Frenzy, and will be adding Infection on top of the damage. If anyone has a Kashima, it's basically over. If anyone has a shotgun, it's over. Uh, because we're not running any health equipment, and the only thing that has damage resistance is the Nia. But, you know, nothing uh, counters the Kashima except Pro Dodge. You know, Pro Dodge moves. Dodge this. And then we have the Quick Draw and Discount to make cheap things cheaper. Except Quick Draw, that's not what that does. We have the creature mod to make things actually cheap. This is 3, 2, 2, 2. And then equilibrium mod, we have a boost of 20 in area 3. So in area 3, it becomes a 3 mod deck. Popping out those creatures and the air burst. It, it's really interesting to see the air burst in this deck. I'm quite interested to know why there's an air burst. Because we're not running invincible. So the air burst is just going to toss your creatures around. And, yeah, it'll toss everyone else around, too, allowing you to, you know, lock the door or, you know, keep them on the ground. Uh, you can do a really nice play by putting the air burst trap down and then popping out Mr. X, and then they get blown around, then you get a free kill. 
but other than that, I don't really see the best use for this, other than it just being awesome. I don't know. So I'm really interested to see how this goes. I think it might be too costly. Uh, this is three, two, two, three? I don't know. We'll see. I'm wrong sometimes. And yeah, that's basically what we got. I'm really interested to see how this goes. Um, I really like it so far. Like, I, I really love that the deck kind of looks like it stands on its own. Sure, the whole thing centers around Mr. X, but it's in a way where he's a finisher and where he's not, like, the main focus. Like, once you pop him out, game over. That's basically what this is trying to do. It'll be really interesting to see if I can do that, because if I can't play him well, then I lose. <laughs> this really depends on how well I can play Mr. X. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes, and yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's see. They kill Kenny. I've seen them before, like once. Uh, I don't think I've seen anybody else. Apparently, I go against uh, a lot of viewers, but I don't know their viewers. So, I'm always worried that I'll trash talk somebody who watches my videos. I don't like doing that, but, you know, in the heat of the moment, I judge you. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing personal. <laughs> it's a competitive game, after all. Uh, don't use Pyrone, that's trash. Anyway, so Tyrone's going to be a problem. Becca is the one to watch out for, as well as Jill. So this is a good bioweapon team. Uh, one can, Two people can stun me, and two people can possibly kill me if I'm not careful. So I have to go for them first. Bonjour, uh, mon Valerie ami. is an important the one. The wheels of fate led you to a strange place today, no? Let us see if you will walk away. Oh, no. What would open this strange lock? Uh, let's do something How different much do you believe that I would put that key in there with you? Perhaps I did not, and you are trapped forever. Let's put this here. See what happens. No one will be coming through that door. It's locked and bolted. Sometimes it's easiest just to do things yourself. You nah. -uh. Mm -hmm. Tentacle attack. I got her anyway! <laughs> oh, the reach. I don't find the place to use. There is more fun ahead. Fun for me, at least. Need more than bullets. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Infection. Fuck yeah. Fucking hate weak ass zombies. <laughs> ah, fuck a crawler. Ah, there's nothing. I can't do shit here. Yeah, it's just a free five seconds. Anyway, what what we have here? Um, die. Oh, I didn't put in my new voice line. I didn't put in my new voice line. So I fucked up in area one. Uh, I tried something new. The uh, the doors weren't strong enough for me to get two bites on Valerie. Let us see how much further you can go. Let's see the map fuck me over with my preset. A, it didn't for once. 
It didn't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why didn't it fuck me over? <laughs> This really is not a very good efficient job. way of ending your life. See That's this zombie? I can't control that one. Does. That's silly. Ooh! Too late. Raccoon City. <laughs> a fittingly brutal weapon for a brutal guy. Ah, he uses ability. Motherfucker just refuses to get stunned. Look at that. He's refusing. Yeah, he's running a good build. Look at this cocky piece of shit. Fucking asshole, man. He's just freezing to move because he knows how powerful he is. Good for him, the cocky piece of shit. Fucking hate that. Nice. She just fucking killed herself right there. <laughs> that was cute. That was good. That was good. Good job, Jill. That was actually really cool. I ain't even mad. Fuck you. Oh, wait. Wait, she was talking to her friends. Never mind. She was talking to her friends. I thought she was being disrespectful to me. That's not nice. Fucking Tyrone, man. He just refuses to go down. <laughs> I have put in place led you here. You have... <laughs> he just refuses to go down. <laughs> I'm playing horribly. I'm playing horribly. It's okay. Tentacle attack. It didn't fucking get her. Why? Why did that not get her? Blurb. Tentacle attack. Okay. I shouldn't have left. Uh, fuck. Shit. Now I have nothing to stop them. There we go. That's what I mean. Tentacle attack. This really is not a very efficient way of ending your life. Ah, man, where's Jill? I got this. Good job, Jill. She's actually playing smart. Fucking impressive. Look at her wasting time. Refusing. Finally, she's making a move. Making a fucking move. Good job. Sometimes it's easiest just to do things yourself. Ooh, good shot. Tentacle attack. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh my gosh, man. Seriously? The fucking supply zombie. Right here. Right there. Right now. 
Come on, man. That's not cool. Please, mercy. <laughs> mercy. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. I got him twice. Things you have forced me to do. The stain of your blood will be joined by many. Oh, many of you left. No food for the undead in this area. We get them hungry for you. In case you got this far. Yeah, she's not gonna open the door. There, oh, ooh, an ivy! Oh, the ivy is protecting the door. Fuck yeah, man. Okay, yeah, she's gonna wait there. That's a minute 30 off the clock. They're gonna go into overtime. There's th there's two deaths. There's the third one. About to go into overtime. I can pop out. Get Mr. X faster. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's a good Jill. Some weird movement at times, but she, but but her weird movement is throwing me off. So she's doing good. I mean, I don't know if it's on purpose, but there is no it's throwing me off, and that's what matters. Now. That's good. Where is the bio core? Oh, right there. Where's your minigun? Why did you put it away? <laughs> Why did you put the minigun away? Tentacle set. Finally. Doing something. No, I don't want that one. Ending your life. Wow, look at how fast they're destroying the fucking bio core. Wow, what the fuck, man. Fucking latency. Latency only helps survivors. What the fuck was that bullshit? Now I can't protect this bio core because of that shit. She's using a fucking minigun on a camera? That's a waste. Oh, and she's got the yellow herb. Yeah, she's got the yellow herb too. I'm gonna raise this up. I have to. Look at that fucking damage! What the fuck? Damn! These guys are crazy! Oh, that was weird. Fuck you. What are you trying to do, Valerie? Yeah. Fucking walk away. She's gonna take advantage of that. Yeah, this team was prepared for this specific build. They're running yellow herbs. And and, and they have a lot of health. So this team was 100% prepared for this build. And, and somehow I couldn't fucking stop them from doing the thing. What? Like, what the fuck, man? Oh my god, this fucking bitch. This is a good team. This is a good team. They were 100% prepared for an extra damage build. Like, that's insane. I can't, uh, I can't do anything against that. And I don't have enough infection. And they themselves are a screen damage build. Look at that bio build. It's not going down as fast as it normally does. 
but, you know, it's good enough. Oh my god, where are they getting all this bullshit? Where are they getting all this? Where did they get that fucking plane? Well, it's over now. That's it. So much fucking time back. Where are they getting all these super weapons, man? Like, what the fuck? I can't fight back. Oh my god. I can't fight back. That first biocore really screwed me over. Like, 100%. Oh my god! What the fuck? She's fucking running mixtapes? My god! I can't fight back! <laughs> I can't fight back! She keeps healing them. She, she, she's getting everything so fucking fast. And I did my tentacle attack too early. Oh my god, man! Fuck! This is a good fucking team. What happened to your kick, bro? You fucking used it on something that didn't matter? Oh, wow. I actually went on the camera. Okay. Well, this was a very interesting team to go against. They were... Uh, she has good aim. She has good aim. Oh my god, this dude has so much health. Good job, Tyro. Wow, props to this fucking team. Very impressive. Man, they they were fucking ready. Th the the Valerie was winning yellow boost on her healing spray. Their so she was defending them you with the yellow resisted. boost and Good healing them. And then Enjoy Tyrone the and was giving them fucking damage resistance. On top of the damage resistance they already had. And then Becca was doing extreme amount of fucking damage, more than she usually does, because of the yellow boost. Damn. The fucking chances. I don't know if this is a pre-made but it has all the fucking calling cards they were doing. Man, I ain't even mad. It was just stressful to go against. Uh... Wow. That's amazing. Good for these guys, man. Uh, if this was a different team, you know, I would have won because they wouldn't have been prepared for the damage from Mr. X. But... But, like... Out of all the builds, out of all the teams, I just had to get the perfect counter for this build. And and that's just magical. And really fucking stressful. Oh my fuck, man, really? <laughs> How am I supposed to show off like the, the, the strength of this build if they're fucking running the counter? <laughs> That's not how it works, man. Oh, man. That's crazy. I'm... I'm impressed with the team. I'm mad that I couldn't show off the build. And, like, I have other things I need to do, man. <laughs> oh, man. That Tyrone, man. So much health. The fucking Biocores. I fucking hate this team. They're good. They're... <laughs> <laughs> They're too good for this shit. Man, the damage they were doing to those bio core. It, if this wasn't prison, I would have lost in a minute, maybe two minutes, no more. No more than two minutes in Area 3. I, I wouldn't have lasted more than two minutes at all if this wasn't in prison. The barriers saved me, <laughs> um, but the like, my god, that that first bio core, I could have had them at that first bio core, but it just, I hate it when you activate the barrier, and then the bio core gets destroyed, like, 
you can't raise the next Biocore because it's on cooldown now. It is so, like, defeating, man. Uh, and then that second one, I don't even know how they got it down. Like, who got it down? Who lowered the barrier on the second Biocore? I was right there. Um, like, I know I went up the stairs, and I knew someone was going to go down and get it, but when I got there, there was no one there. So, who, who did it? Like, damn. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I got lucky that this was prison, because if it wasn't prison, I would have lost, uh, way sooner. Um, this was, you know, the, the perfect counter, and that's about it. Uh, I played terribly at times, but I made some good moves. Um, and really, that's about it. Um, as far as the build... It centers around Mr. X finishing the deal, but I couldn't do that to this specific team. So, if this is a different team, yeah, this works. This totally works. Uh, you get Mr. X at a reasonable rate, and, well, I don't know how much damage I was actually doing, because, um, you know, they were running the yellow herbs, and Tyrone was doing the damage resistance, so I don't know how powerful this build is. But the deck itself, it needs more infection. That's... So, at the third Biocore, I'm pretty sure, like... I'm pretty sure I could have slowed them down with infection. I only have one infectious creature in here. And, you know, th this has Frenzy and Berserk, so that your creatures are really fast. In Area 3. So you can swarm them. But there's no infection... So it doesn't matter how fast they are if they're on the ground and they can't move. So I would definitely change this out. Boom. Infection. You don't need this guy anymore. Because he's already infected. Boom. Put in the imposter. Same cost. He's more aggressive. The two zombies are good. This is a cycle card. This is a cycle card. These are cycle cards. Um... The airburst trap really hurt me more than it helped. Uh, I did put this at the bio core, which is a good tactic for prison in particular. Uh, but they had grenades, so that didn't work. I would totally get rid of this. This is in the way. Uh, uh, this hurt me more than helped me. Uh, let's see. If I could change this, um, lockdown would be really good. Because then it would lock them in with Mr. X. It would lock them in with me, with the uh, the Nia. It would lock them in with infectious creatures. Uh, you could use the tracker mine uh, so that your normal creatures do more damage. Um, the landmine is good too. Uh, if you didn't want to do that, uh, well, that's about it, really. Anything else would be a creature. And then, since you wouldn't be doing that, Rend would be a good idea. Since it's a swarm build, they would benefit from Rend. This would help out the Nia as well. So when you get those bites, it'll do more damage. Uh, Unnatural Selection would help with the Nia. Uh, since it's the only... Uh, oh, it would help with the Dealer as well. Yeah, Unnatural Selection might actually be a better choice than Frenzy. Um, or Rend. Yeah. Because the dealer would be taking away their credits, and the tentacle attack would do more da damage from the Nia. But if you didn't want to do that, you just focus on Rend, and that would also increase damage uh, on the Nia and the other creatures. So, with that, I think that would definitely help the build without Mr. X. Because Mr. X is fine. And I think... Uh, it's just... I'm just going to do that as a placeholder. So I think this, and getting rid of that, and switching it to this, this would help the normal deck. So in Area 3, you'd have Infectious Creatures, um, and then they'd be doing more Bite Damage, and then you'd be slowing down the Survivors, 
that way they're not you know trying to shoot your bio core they're it, it's taking them longer to shoot your creatures your creatures are doing more damage and then that might give you more time to pop out mr x in one final blow uh be, because of the map in area three i kind of had a hard time dealing the damage i didn't have enough creatures uh the bio energy was decent but it wasn't good enough so i didn't have any creatures to back up mr x or vice versa uh, but i think these changes would help they would definitely help and uh that's basically it um i'm sure the damage from mr x is amazing uh, i'm pretty sure it's good and that you can definitely win with with him but i couldn't do it because of this particular team and once we got to area three it was too wide open uh, but yeah, other than that, thanks for the build. Um, if I do things correctly, there should be a video on Sunday, and that video will, will have another Discord link. Uh, so if anyone else has any more builds, uh, just wait for that, then go on to Discord, and then pop them out on the Discord. I'll look at them all. It'll be really nice to see, you know, you know like, oh, look at this one, look at that one. It'll be fun to pick and choose. Anyway... Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you learned something because this was uh, very interesting to see. You don't really see that too often when you're doing something extremely specific and then the team you go against is that exact thing that counters it. <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, I would really hate to like face that team on any other map. Like with like he wasn't a pyrone. So, respect. Um, a trap build would be good for that team. But uh, the moment they get to area 3, oof, you better hope. Like, like man, the, I had them in area 3 at the very start. They started with only a minute 24, and they still got out. Amazing. Fucking good, man. Eh? GG. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.